Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. Uh, today is Wednesday the 25th of January and I'm currently on the third day of my training camp. So we're on the third day here, it's gone really well so far, um, as you can see, really nice place, I've really enjoyed it, the hotel's been great so far and we've got some good riding in. Today I'm going to show you what I sort of get up to um, and it involves the riding pretty much, eating and sleeping which is the main three things I've been doing this week. So we've been getting up most days at around quarter past seven uh, and then we go and do some tests. We do check our weight to make sure we're staying on top of eating lots, heart rate uh, and just some basic questions about how we're feeling as the week goes on. So obviously it's going to get worse as the week goes on. So, so far it's quite well. Um, and then after that we go for breakfast, which is really nice, basically fueling up for our big rides, um, which is really important. I, when, Either without it, we're not going to last on these big rides and uh, be fueled properly. So on the cards today, we've got four hours um, with a lot of intervals, uh, some stuff for the crosswinds because it's quite windy here, so it's good practice for the first few races of the season. Um, also, we're going to do some race simulation efforts, which will be really good, and some sprint lead outs. So it's going to be a hard day. Um, I've just got to make sure I stay on top of fueling a lot, frequently and often. Yeah, just enjoy the, the different roads while I can. So I'm going to take you along the way with me. So this is what I'm going to try and consume on today's ride. We've got the SIS beta fuel, which is really handy because I can just put it in my drink. Uh, gel for the efforts and just a couple of easy bars and some uh, classic Brittany uh, Madeleines and that should hopefully fill me up and if I need anything more the team will give it to me. So we got all our kit on ready to go um, we're just about to head down to the garage and then we'll head off for our ride. Well that went a bit harder than I expected, uh, it was a really hard ride with uh, lots of different types of efforts, um, to start off with we did some lead out ones, then some crosswind stuff and finishing it with a sort of a breakaway formation thing. Um, but because I've been ill for quite a while, I just haven't done in any intensity for <clears throat> sort of five or six weeks now. So I just really struggled. Um, yeah, it was a bit disappointing to be honest, 
But I mean, I should really have been expecting this coming to this camp just because I haven't done as much training as I wanted to and it's been annoying, but it is what it is. Uh, the weather was really nice on the other hand. Uh, it was 13, 14 degrees um, out there. It was really nice, sunny, uh, a lot less wind than it has been the past couple of days. So I really enjoyed that. It's just, uh, yeah, the intensity side of it. I think I've still got a couple of weeks to train hard until that comes back. So I'm gonna have a shower now and then I'm gonna head down for some lunch. <laughs> So I thought I'd show you guys um, the sort of garage area and where all the bikes are stored and where we meet at the start of every ride. So here's all the team bikes. Uh, Jean, the mechanic, is currently upstairs. Um, yeah, there are all the bikes. And then this is where we've been meeting for the start of all of our rides and at our uh, briefing. Most afternoons we've been here, we've been uh, just relaxing in the hotel, um, but just now we went and got our photo team photos done for this coming year, and in about an hour's time, I've got uh, my massage, good. I'm just gonna go for a quick nap. So here we have the room that we're staying in. Uh, and my roommate Luca. Salut Luca. Hi <laughs> um, So over here we've got our kitchen area, looking very messy at the moment, uh, which I need to clean. But it's been handy to do stuff and make a few the odd coffee. Um, over here we've got the bathroom, which is uh, currently drying a load of kit. Uh, over here we've got the living room area with a table, TV again we're using to dry clothes uh, and some sofas which we've been chilling out in and then one of the best bits you got outdoors area with an awesome view of the beach and then the mountains over there and the town that we're staying in And then finally, we've got the bedrooms in here. You'll have to excuse all the kit everywhere. We don't really have anything to dry it on, so. Yeah, so that's the rooms. Um, they're really nice, actually. It's pretty much an apartment. Um, so we've got lots of room to put all our stuff for the week and chill out. Um, I've got my massage in about half an hour. And then after that, we'll head down for some food to fuel us for tomorrow's ride. So that's my massage done. Uh, hopefully that's really helped my legs after today um, and prepared me for tomorrow as we've got a big ride of uh, five hours with some effort. So uh, the only thing to do now is fuel the body and eat some food. <laughs> So we've just had our briefing for tomorrow uh, and a bit of feedback on today. Um, so tomorrow we've got five hours with lots of climbing in it uh, with a big uh, mountain that we're going to do. So uh, I'm going to look forward to that, I guess, although it depends how the legs feel. Um, but yeah, we had a good catch up and made sure we've run everything through from today and for tomorrow. So I'm really happy with that. Uh, it's just gone half nine. So to be honest, now it's just really doing a few stretches and then getting ready for tomorrow and then going to bed. Uh, these days at the camp are quite long. Um, so yeah, recovery, the best recovery is sleeping. So I've got to make sure I've got plenty of that. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and to a look at what I'm getting up to at camp. So if you could give the video a like and a subscribe, that'd be much appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next one.